of this video is to go over the Wenberg article with you. As you see in this article, uh, which is in Google Drive, if you click on the yellow highlighted areas, as you can see, this first word, Alzheimer's, is highlighted. As you click on that, my comment box pops up here. And so you could read this comment and it'll help you go through the article and learn how to write your own literature review, which is the major assignment for this class. So for example, this first pop-up box here tells you that this first sentence is the title of the article. And the title identifies a few very important key items, such as the population. So right off the bat, we know that the population discussed in this paper is caregivers. The other thing is that identifies the major dependent variable, or DV, which in this case is burden. Now there are a few other DVs, but that the author is telling you that this is the most important one because he's putting it, or she's putting it in the uh, title. The other thing is it says intervention. Now it doesn't specifically mention um, an exact intervention, but it is telling you that what this article is going to be about is it's going to review um, interventions. The second bubble here uh, just tells you here's the authors of the paper. Um, then we move on to the abstract. The abstract is this whole paragraph um, right here. And so usually the, par the, usually the abstract is about 200 words, but it also is a general summary of the whole paper. And again, it'll identify the IV, the DV, and other important things in the paper. And so, you know, for your uh, literature review for this class, you will also write uh, uh, an abstract. Here are some key words, but I'm going to move on. You can read all those bubbles and that will help you go through the paper, but I want to move on and just focus on the introduction. So what you see here on my screen on page uh, 162 is the introduction. Once you go, move on to here to the risk factors, that moves on to the actual literature review for the paper. And so those are two different sections in the paper. You start off with the introduction and then you move on to the literature review for this Wenberg article. And so if we look at um, the first bubble here, the first thing that they do in the introduction is they identify the prevalence. Now in this case, Alzheimer's is not the DV the DV is burden, and burden is a continuous DV, and that's important um, because you want to watch the other video on how to select a continuous DV because that's what we want you to do for this class. But Alzheimer's is the overarching problem um, that uh, needs to be addressed, but, but it's the burden of the caregivers who care for the person with Alzheimer's, that's really the DV that we can intervene on. And so as you, as you see here, um, we want, they are addressing the prevalence though. That's one of the things that you're gonna need to do. You wanna um, identify the prevalence. You also wanna define, define important terms. Um, like if you click on the third bubble here, informal caregivers are generally family members, such as a spouse or adult child or a close friend of the care recipient. And so the author is defining what a caregiver is, and it's they're not defining it because caregiving or a caregiver is a complicated term. Care, I mean, we could all kind of guess what a caregiver is, but it's important to define these terms so the author and the reader are on the same page. So we're not assuming anything here. Um, it is very important for you to define the dependent variable as well. And so that's definitely something that you wanna do in the opening um, of your introduction. You wanna identify the prevalence, you wanna define your dependent variable, um, you want to uh, also talk about the consequences of your DV as well. And so here, here's an example. If you go to this bubble, caregiving burden effects. And so when they look at the DV and they say it affects financial health, quality of life, life outcomes, they are talking about the consequences of the DV. So the consequences of burden are all of those things. Um, there's one other thing I want to point out in this introduction. 
before we end. So the final sentence in the introduction tells you what the paper is going to review. So it sort of looks you forward to the literature review and says, this is what we're going to go through. The, the last thing is, uh, how many articles did just this introduction use to form the introduction? So I want you to think about that as you are writing your introduction um, for this class or your lit review. So this paper, the Wenberg paper, is your ideal model of how to write a liter literature review for this class. And so as you count up all those articles, I want you to think this is an A in terms of how many articles they cited here. Because the, the, the reason why that this is a very good introduction is it's brief, it's very succinct, it contains relevant content such as the prevalence, the definition of terms, consequences of the DV, but it's also because it cites a sufficient amount of research here supporting the ideas that are contained. So the goal when you're doing a literature review is not to come up with your own ideas and then find research to match. The goal is to review all the research and to synthesize the research in this brief introduction. And so it's not that they came up with their own ideas here. They read all the research, they summarized it and synthesized it, developed this introduction, and then cited all those research articles as support. And so this is a good model that um, I want you to use as you are writing your introduction.